Gordon. My name is Cole Shack. I'm Kayla Michaels. And I'm Carl Carson. And we're here to tell you a little about Kohl's, a little bit about Kohl's and why you should invest in them. So before we begin, we're just going to tell you like a little bit of the background. So it was founded by Maxwell Cole in 1946 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it Kohl's has grown to be a public parent corporation. And right now the headquarters is in Menominee, Wisconsin, and in 50, or 49 states, there's 1,160 stores, so it's really widespread. And it's a retail department store. And they have different brands. They have clothing, they have shoes, accessories, jewelry, and the brands include Nike, Adidas, and actually Under Armour is gonna be coming in this, this next year as well. Uh, next we'll be talking about how we operate and offer our services. Uh, with Kohl's being a retail department store, they don't actually manufacture or make their products, but they buy them from larger um, brands at large quantities in order to get cheaper prices. Um, and they strive to, uh, to create a pleasurable environment in their stores for people to come back and enjoy their experience. Uh, the size and scope. As stated, um, there's currently 1,160 stores across the U.S. in 49 different states, and they employ 140,000 different people, which is pretty big. And on average, each store is 88,000 uh, square feet. So for finances, uh, in general, our revenue has remained constant throughout the past few years, as you can see within that graph there. Uh, right now, our projected 2016 revenue is about 19.2 billion. Um, our projected gain per share is three dollars and forty-eight cents, again projected for this year. Uh, but as you can see, that uh, chart right there goes over all the different revenues since two thousand thirteen and the gains per share of each respective year. Now, for potential risks, um, there is the potential risk of a rise in price. Um, so, as we said earlier, coal is, is you know quite destined to get you the lowest prices that we possibly can. Um, but in today's economy, sadly, we can't always guarantee that there could be a high inflation which in return could potentially raise prices that could then correlate to a drop in customers. Another one is growing competitors, um, competitors such as THC Penny, TJX companies. Um, uh, they could all increase their stores, you know, make them larger, put more out in different areas. With this, that would create uh, more industry competition. With a increase in industry competition, we may lose some customers and then in return have to shut down some stores. Thank you for listening to our presentation if you have any questions for us.